In this video, we will take a look at uh, the installation procedure for Alice. Alice is the software application that we are going to use to control our M1K instrumentation board. Alice actually stands for Active Learning Interface for Circuits and Electronics. So the software required to run Alice on a Windows machine um, you need to first download three software packages from the web links that are provided on this slide. The assumptions that I'm making right now are uh, that you're using a 64-bit Windows computer and you're not uh, developing your own software application. So Alice uh, source code is written in Python and the assumption right now is that you're just using Alice and you're not making any changes to the current uh, source code. So to download uh, the three software packages, please use the links that are provided. I'm simply going to right click on them here and open them in a browser. So when you open them in a browser, you should see a GitHub repository uh, with all these files and I'll talk about what you need to grab from here in a minute. So uh, the first uh, software package, actually two of them are uh, libsmu libraries that contain the USB drivers for the M1K board. So we, we are going to grab both the 32-bit version or the x86 uh, version and um, the 64-bit versions of the exe files from the GitHub repository. So if I go back to uh, that web page, I can see that there's a setup exe file for x84. So I'm going to click click on that, and it's going to download to my downloads folder. And I'm also going to click on the x86 32-bit version of libsmu library. I need both of them because the USB drivers and the Python bindings are available in, in both of them. So I'm gonna grab both of these guys from here and I'm gonna go back to the instructions now. Um, I also need to grab a Windows executable installer for Alice from this other web link. So I'm gonna click on this as well and click on open in the browser. And it, when you do that, you will see that the most recent version of Alice was up uploaded to github 22 days ago so it's uh, very recent and the exe file is uh, alice-desktop-1.3 is the version and the setup file for that in the exe format so i'm going to click on that as well now in my um, downloads folder i should have uh, all th these um, files that are ready to get installed so let's go back to the web link here. So I've completed the step of downloading the three software packages. Now moving on to the next slide, I'm going to first install the USB drivers. Specifically, I'm going to install the 64-bit version of libsmu library. And during the installation, I need to uh, keep a check on which boxes are ticked and which ones are left alone. Uh, so for that, I'm going to simply start off my installation process over here. So I'm going to click on my uh, downloads folder i'm going to navigate to the place where i just now downloaded those three packages i'm going to just give it a minute until it uh, looks those all right so uh, i'm going to double click on the x84 uh, setup file for libsmu library uh, and when i double click uh, i should see this dialog box come up asking me if I want to run this file. I trust Analog Devices International, and I'm going to run this. So once I run this, you are going to see some uh, questions. Uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. And it's going to ask me for language. English is OK. I'm going to accept the agreement, assuming everything is, uh, is I've read that. Next, I'm going to let the default location uh, be as is and now I'm going to select um, the install win USB drivers for M1K that box I'm going to leave it as is and the, the next box by default 
is selected, which is add application directory to your environment path. I'm going to leave that as is too and select next here and next and it's going to take a few seconds here to install and the installation wizard has started i'm going to navigate through that select next and it looks like it's completing the device driver installation wizard so I, i'll se select finish here and it says it has completed installation of the 64-bit version of those uh, libraries so once I'm done with that, I can move on to the second next uh, step here, which is to install the 32-bit uh, libsmu library. So I'm going to go back to my downloads folder, look at where the 32-bit uh, version of the file is, double click on that, which brings up uh, a very similar uh, box here. Uh, and I'm going to select run. It's going to ask me, do you, do you want this application to make changes? Yes. I'm going to select English. I'm going to accept the agreement. I'm going to select the same location here, but it's now going to go to the 32 bit version of the program files. And now I am not going to select. So th this step is a little bit crucial because I don't want to rewrite my Windows USB uh, drivers. Those are the 64 bit versions that I'm going to use, assuming you are using a 64 bit computer. Um, and the, the one just below that, I'm going to leave that added on. So the first block I've unchecked. That's the only change I've made to the default selection. And then I select next, install, finish. And that has completed installation as well. Now, the next step is to install the application. So let's go back to the downloads folder, double click on Alice desktop setup.exe and once I double click it's going to bring up the uh, similar uh, dialog box which says trust this uh, unknown publisher I'm going to select run here it's going to ask me do you want to allow this app to make changes yes and it's going to take me to a default directory uh, in my C drive called ALM software and M1K. I just need to make sure that this particular directory has write permissions uh, because I'm going to be writing my files to this. Uh, select next. Um, yes, I would like to create it. Select next. Install. It's going to install the software application. It doesn't take too long, but should finish up okay so completing the alisa wizard click click finish to exit setup so we can click finish and it has uh, installed our um, software alice and version is 1.3 now while you are doing all of that it is important to leave the m1 keyboard uh, unplugged now that we have installed the usb drivers um, and the alice software we are now ready to plug in our m1 keyboard now it's going to recognize uh, the because the drivers are installed. It's going to recognize the M1K board on the USB port. So I'm I'm going to plug in now to my computer using using the uh, USB cable, um, and Windows should recognize the new hardware given that we have uh, installed the drivers. And now we are ready to start Alice uh, by double clicking on the desktop icon. So. I'm going to quickly look for that uh, desktop icon here. And as you can see, all the uh, Alice related uh, apps are uh, available to you over here. I'm going to look for Alice M1K desktop. I'm going to double click on that. And once I double click on that, you are now ready to interact with the M1K board. Uh, you can use this for a function as a function generator, as an oscilloscope. Uh, all the other details are in another video, but this will uh, get you up. Uh, the the this comp well, we still have to update the firmware, uh, but this is how you would install Alice. First, the 32 64 bit library, SMU library, and the uh, 32 bit library followed by Alice installation file. Now, so 
the the last step that remains in our procedure here is to update the current firmware so that we have the latest one installed so for that you go into options and update firmware it's going to say flash new firmware to current device I'm going to select yes it's going to ask me to find the location of that bin file I'm going to navigate to the place where I've just installed um, Alice so that would be uh, let's see C ALM uh, software M1K and then I see that dot bin file over here I'm gonna point to that and say open it's going to take uh, a little bit of time and then it now says flash firmware complete uh, we would need to unplug the board to cycle the power so I am going to at this point say okay here unplug the board plug it back in and say okay so that starts uh, restarts the board and uh, we are going to also need to restart Alice to continue so I'm going to exit out of this and double click on Alice again and we are back to uh, the software uh, GUI and I, I, I'll be able to uh, use this use this as an instrumentation board as a function generator as an oscilloscope and other uh, functionalities all right so uh, I hope you find this uh, installation uh, procedure helpful and this would be the first step uh, in order to use the m1k board